Today we're doing a video install guide for the BMW B48, B58 engine. This happens to be a B48, but the B58 installs the same way, as does the B46, of course. I've put a few of the tools aside we'll be using. We've got a 10 milliliter socket, a sort of long screwdriver, a small screwdriver, and of course our key. The first step in any installation process is to go ahead and lock the doors and place the key far enough away so that the ECU will go to sleep. I usually like to wait, you know, three or four minutes, but for the purpose of this install, we'll, we'll skip that part. We have the JB4 up here, we'll pop it out of the box. This customer just added to add on our JB4 mobile connect kit to allow him to connect to a cell phone. That's already been pre-installed here, but we'll make a separate video showing you how to attach that to JB4. Got the wiring harness here. And finally, this is the OBD cable we'll be routing underneath the dash for all the cool CAN bus commands and things like that. All right, let me hand off the camera to my cohort here. So the first step is to pop off the engine cover here and it just simply lifts off. You can place this out of the way. Then we'll use our 10 millimeter socket to take off this access cover. You simply insert it over there and twist it about 90 degrees. There's little arrows that match up and you'll see the arrows moving away. And that allows you to pop this off. Place it next to your engine cover. Now the JB4 will generally be sitting right around here when we're done with the installation. We'll be routing this wire underneath here. This connection right here is the T-MAP connection that I'll be plugging in there. And we have our MAP connection here, which we'll be attaching under there. So let me grab the small screwdriver. And we can start by taking off the T-MAP. There's a little gray retaining clip here that you push down, and then you push the sensor down to pop it off. Now, if you're having problems with it, another way you can do it is by using your screwdriver on this end to pry the clip up while you pull it down. However you get it off, you'll plug it back in to the JB4, and plug the JB4, back into your stock sensor. That's one connection complete. Now the next connection we're gonna do is the map sensor, which is up here. It's a little trickier to reach on this car, but it is right up the top. So you'll again, pop the clip out, and then you'll either lift it from the back or push it down from the front to slide it out. Now once you get it out, you plug it into the JB4 connector, as so. And this is probably the trickiest part of this one, is plug in the JB4 back in there, because it's at a tight angle. But if you kind of hold the wires out of the way with one hand, you can kind of, I know I'm obscuring the camera view over here a bit, unfortunately, but you'll see it when I get my hand out of the way. You can pop it in there, and then it slides in, like so. So we're almost, almost done here. It's a very straightforward installation. Now, next step is to start the routing of this OBD cable. Let me move the JB4 box out of the way here for a second. If you look right here, you'll see there is a grommet, a rubber grommet. Uh, this is on automatics, it's not used for anything, but for manual transmissions, there's already a cable here. So it's a little more difficult for manuals, but it, the same basic process is used. And of course, for automatics, it's very easy. I just used a screwdriver here to push this through. We'll recollect it inside so that when you want to put the car back to stock, you can push it right back in. And then what you're going to do is stick a tool through here. I'm going to use a screwdriver. And what we're going to do with this cable You'll notice that it has two ends, a large end, which will plug in under the dash, and a small end, which is gonna be routed through here. 
I'm gonna go underneath and tape this to the screwdriver so that when I pull the screwdriver through, this thing gets pulled through. Okay, we've pulled the screwdriver back out and what I'm gonna do is go around from the inside and poke the wire through here. Uh, my cohort's gonna go ahead and film that and then I'll grab the camera from her and go around and show you where I poked it through. I need to reach down here and grab this guy and pull it through. Now this is going to plug in to this extra spot here on the JB4. We call it the Molex. And let me go ahead and grab the camera and I'll show you how I made that magic happen. And now you'll notice down here that I didn't have to remove any covers or anything. All I did was reach my hand up through this, uh, this opening here and it's about six inches up and then I was able to go ahead and access it. Now the, the OBD side right here is going to plug in, so I can get it in the camera shot, right there. You can kind of see I plugged it in there. And then this wire here, we're going to go ahead and tuck underneath these covers so it's out of the way. You don't want to had that fallen down when you're driving or anything. So it's easy to tuck it underneath. Not so easy with one hand. But... So you can tuck it like that, or you can even take this wire and place it underneath here. I just can't do it with one hand while I'm filming. And when you're in here, now's a good time to find that cap that we popped through and throw it in your glove box so that when you want to put the car back to stock, you can pop it back in. I'm gonna go ahead and throw it in here for this customer. again. So we've got the basics installed done. Now we just need a little bit of routing to clean this thing up. So as I mentioned in the beginning, the JB4, we're going to sit right around here. And the cable, we have a few options for routing it. You can route it around here or you can pop it through this spot down here. We'll do that with this one because it happens to be relatively easy. You can also place the box down here too. And it's just a matter of routing the cables out of the way. We have this extra OBD cable that's going to be tucked out of the way as well. Now I forgot to mention it earlier, but obviously when we went to open the door to put the OBD cable through, we had to wake the car up by unlocking it. And that's okay. The car only needs to be locked when you're working with the engine connectors, but the under the dash connection for OBD, you can do with the, uh, with the ignition on. That's no problem at all. Now this cover, got four little holes there. You just have to sort of position those over. And that pushes it back down. You'll see the JB4 connector here, so I'm just kind of tucking it underneath it to kind of clean it up. A little stealthier that way. Now the last part is locating the JB4 control box. You, um, some people place it here. I tend to prefer it down like here because it's easier to get the covers on. You can put it down at an angle like that. And tuck these wires out of the way. And then the cover here that we first took off when we started gets put back on. There's a little notch up in the front that lines up. Cover gets pushed back down. Then we just need to use our 10 millimeter to resecure it by lining up the arrows again. Underneath, and the installation is complete. The JB4 comes preset on map one, which is around uh, three to four pounds of boost over stock, which is suitable for all use fuels. On our website, we have full directions for how you can change maps in Dash, enable the in-dash boost gauge, just startup sweep, and a lot of other JB4 unique features, boost by gear and things like that that you might find enjoyable.